In our past videos in this series, we followed the archaeological timeline of ancient human technology that started with stone tools dating back 2.6 million years ago or more, the use of controlled fire at around 750,000 years ago, and the first evidence of shelters being built around 400,000 years ago. Now it is time to stop the clock and take what we've learned so far into the field to test it in real life. I will be calling this the Survival Lab. In today's video, I will be spending a night in below freezing temperatures, putting ancient Stone Age technology to the test. Side note, before we get started, if you are new to this channel, you may not know that I bought a vacant lot in the Mojave Desert four years ago with the idea of seeing if I could green the desert using ancient technology. I'll link to the playlist below in the description. But for the purposes of this video, that is where all the crazy drama came in, and I encourage you to check it out, like, and subscribe if you want the full story. Now, back to the fun stuff. Surviving the night alone, in the desert, in sub-zero temperatures, using Stone Age technology. Let's get started. As night fell in the desert, I selected a spot to spend the night. In my previous video on Stone Age shelters, we discussed a few options for shelter, and from those options, I chose a bush to use as shelter in the desert. I brought my hand drill to make fire if I needed it, but declined to use it. Although temperatures would get below freezing, a fire in the desert can be seen for miles and I didn't want to attract attention. I also had my stone knife available in the event that something needed to get poked out there. Plus, I wore a variety of mostly Stone Age layers as clothing, all with surviving the cold in mind. Here they are. Two hats, an undershirt, a cashmere sweater, an angora sweater, a leather tunic, two pairs of leggings, sheepskin boots and two pairs of socks, and last but not least, my rabbit skin blanket. Here is how the night went. The night spent sleeping on the ground under a bush, under the stars, in the crisp cold air, and wearing the right ancient technology was hands down the best night camping I've ever had. I've spent some very miserable nights in less extreme conditions camping with modern technology and hated every freezing moment until the sun came up. Ancient technology won hands down and I'll never go back. I hope you enjoyed this adventure with me. I loved this part and was shocked and impressed at how well primitive technology still performs in modern times. I'm going to keep this series going, so please subscribe if you want to get updates on the Stone Age technology we'll be testing, and I'll see you there. Bye!